Hey, what is going on everybody? It is Nolan or the Optimistic Gamer here and welcome back to Crafted Chaos. Today is part two of our Mystical Agriculture Adventures. Hopefully we can wrap up everything with this mod. Of course, we will not be 100% complete with it, but hopefully get all of the basics taken care of. We are starting today holding some Supremium Essence, the highest tier of Essence in the mod. And as you can see, I have been hard at work a little bit upgrading our farm here. It is exponential. So once we start to get a little bit more and a little bit more, we can get quite a bit of Inferium Essence each time we harvest. So I have a Prudentium watering can, which is a 5x5 five five area. And then of course we still have our Diamond Scythe. I also have upgraded this farmland to Prudentium farmland and put some growth accelerators underneath it. So right here we are getting some pretty fast growing and high-ish yielding Inferium Essence. I roughly did the math, I think we need about 200 Inferium Essence to craft one Supremium Essence. What I would like to do is convert all of this farmland to Supremium farmland, get the highest tier watering can, which would be a Supremium watering can. Of course, we would be okay with an Imperium watering can because we could put that in the middle and this is a nine by nine farmland plot. And then get some more of these growth accelerators underneath. These don't have to be super high tier for us just enough to where we could very quickly accelerate our Inferium Essence growth. Once we have enough of this Supremium Essence, we can then bring it over here and to make Diamond Seeds, something that we looked at in the previous episode, we need four Supremium Essence, which we have one. We need the Prosperity Seed Base, which is very simple to make, although we do need some more Prosperity Shards. I have used most of those up, we have a few left, and then of course four diamonds, that will give us our diamond seeds. But I am using this Supremium Essence on the farmland, you may think it is a waste, but I hardly think so, because this yields 100%, of course, and then has a secondary chance of 20%. A 20% chance, 1 in 5, that we will get 2 Inferium Essence from it. Right here, this has a 10... Now, how does that work? 10% chance, but the output... Oh, I see. There's a 10% chance that we get... I, I don't know how the math on this works, but look at this. 300%, which means every time we are going to get 3 Inferium Essence from that and again, have a 10% chance for a secondary output or something. I would have to read into the wiki on that, but we will pour this water over. Of course, it will not grow any faster, but what I may do is stack some more of those accelerators underneath that specific plant. But look at how much Inferium Essence we get each time we harvest. It is wonderful. I don't know if I mentioned this already, but it definitely is exponential. Once we start getting going with all of the Supremium farmland and accelerators, then it is really going to move along because in turn we will get more Inferium Essence, be able to craft more Supremium, get that put down, and then the Inferium will grow even faster. So this Supremium farmland is ready. Let's see if we can spot how much we get we were at 43 now at 47 it may have merged with another one of those items on the ground but we are doing a lot better so i'm going to move some of these accelerators under that specific block and i know it's going to slow the rest of these down a little bit but because the yield on that is so high we will be able to make more of these growth accelerators pretty quickly and these have a max range of 12 blocks, so we will get those placed first, and then the Prudentium Accelerators, which have a max range of 24. So we will dig down quite a ways and place as many of these as we can. There we go, and let's see how we do. 
I'm definitely dreaming a little bit, but it would be nice if it was just click and hold our scythe on that. Yeah, not growing instantly, but well, that's pretty good though. If we hold the watering can over it, well, that's not bad. Not really sure if it is worth it or not, but it won't matter here pretty soon because we will be able to make more of those growth accelerators anyway. Maybe that secondary chance is for seeds. But I do remember reading something from our last episode on this about how seeds will do better on the farmland that they are planted on. So of course if we are growing Inferium, a tier 1 seed, on tier 5 farmland, well, we're gonna have a little bit different of a result. So we are now up to four stacks of Inferium Essence. I am just going to put this through our Infusion Crystal to see what we get out of it. So of course, from this, we will get a stack of Prudentium Essence. From there, we will get 16 Tertium Essence. From there, four Imperium, so it is four stacks of Inferium Essence to get one single Supremium Essence. But what I'm thinking is we may actually stick with this Tertium Essence, a tier three, and see if that would be more beneficial to us. And we got three, yeah, so we're getting three Inferium Essence from that each time, versus that we're getting one and a half. So I would assume we get two from this. I think that would be more beneficial to place this down all over the place instead of one additional Supremium, and then it will help us get to that point a little quicker. And it looks like sometimes we will get some of that Inferium Essence back from the farmland, other times maybe not. We will get all of that replanted and continue to grow this. And yes, it is 200%. So I have upgraded this farmland a little bit more. I think what I'm gonna do is just try to convert all of this to Supremium, or at the very least, Imperium, and then we will move on from there. We should have plenty of essence by then. All right, I'll see all of you soon. You know, I feel like I've got a really solid grasp of how this whole mod is working now, and we are definitely making great progress. I have upgraded our watering can once again, so it now covers a 7x7 area. I am also in the process of upgrading our scythe to a tertium scythe, which covers an 11x11 area which will be more than enough for our plot of land right here. And I still haven't made too many more upgrades or none at all to our growth accelerators, mostly because that requires a lot of prosperity shards, which I have been mining up as the wind generator can support. Of course, we don't have great power, but we are getting some of those through the digital miner right there. But our infusion crystal is down to 331 uses left. I forget how we make this. Oh, that's nice and nice and easy. I think there's a way to make an infinite fusion crystal. The master infusion crystal, which requires quite a bit of supremium. So I think we will just stick to our normal infusion crystal for now. And we will upgrade that scythe once again, and now if we right click right here, it'll reach pretty far over there. It looks like this is the threshold or maybe right around here, but we are definitely doing very good for ourselves, and our watering can is a 7x7 area. I would like to get that upgraded to the 9x9, which will require quite a bit of Impre Imperium Essence, eight of that. Welcome back everyone, I have spent about the last hour or so slowly upgrading and improving our Inferium farm, and I have made some great progress on it. So we now have Growth Accelerators, Tertium Growth Accelerators under all of the blocks except for a couple back here which maybe I can move some of these underneath those to compensate. But we also have Imperium Farmland 
on every single block here, except for our one farmland, which is Supremium, and that will allow us to plant some diamonds. But it takes about a minute or maybe even a little less to get enough Inferium Essence to be able to craft one Supremium. And you can see just how quick everything is going. We also have an upgraded watering can as well, which is now covering the entire area of this farm. And we are getting a lot of Inferium Essence very quickly from this. So I'm pretty excited about how all of this is going. But now the main focus is just going to be crafting Supremium Essence a few times so that we can have enough to make some diamond seeds. We will be able to plant those on that Supremium farmland right there and grow diamonds. I'm not sure how long they will take. I'm not sure what the yield will be, but I do know that at the very minimum, we will have diamonds growing out of the ground and that is very exciting. Of course, we have our digital miner over here, which may actually still be running. No, it's not. Okay. I wasn't sure if I left it on or not, but I had it set to mine diamonds because we needed some of those prosperity gemstones, and those are made with diamonds. But in just a couple minutes here of watering and harvesting, all of this Inferium, we are already up to maybe about six stacks here, I would say, and we can turn this in. I've gone through a lot of these crystals, actually, so we are definitely going to want to make that unlimited crystal here pretty soon. Let me see if making Supremium does more uses. So we have 796 left and we are down to 795. Okay, so it's every time that we use it, it just does one durability on that. But I've already gone through two crystals now. We are on crystal number three. So that unlimited crystal will be very useful once we acquire it. And I have a theory about these growth accelerators that I want to confirm in our book. And I did just confirm my theory on the wiki page. The growth accelerators, regardless of their tier, do the exact same amount of acceleration. So this right here is no different than this right here. The difference lies in the fact that these have a range of 12 blocks. They will go down 12 blocks below that farmland before they no longer reach, whereas the Supremium will go all the way down 60 blocks below this farmland. So whereas this would only be 12 times faster, the Supremium would be 60 times faster. That is the difference, not in the speed. So knowing that, I'm kind of regretting having those tertium growth accelerators placed down here because I could have done multiple rows of the inferium accelerators, but that's okay. I guess we live and we learn. But I think with how that works with those growth accelerators, the way we can set those up is have the first set of 12 be the basic inferium accelerators, and then the next row would be Prudentium, and then Tertium, and then I almost have these memorized, Imperium, and then Supremium at the bottom. So we wouldn't have to have 60 Supremium accelerators. We only need 12 of each tier, I think. That would make sense logically, but who knows? And with that last bit of Inferium that we just harvested, we now have enough to create for Supremium Essence, enough to make diamond seeds. I should really check to see if there's other seeds that would be more useful to us, but there's something about growing diamonds in this game that, well, we just kind of have to lead with that. So we are going to make some prosperity seeds and we will just need some normal wheat seeds for that. And of course, we will need one diamond. We should be able to start that real quick, should mine up a diamond, and we'll go ahead and stop that. I guess we actually need four, don't we? There we go. And we can bring these over to our infusion altar and 
place down the prosperity seeds in the middle. Actually, is there a way? First, I should make sure that we are doing this correctly. Diamond seeds, tier five, prosperity seed base. Okay, nope, I think we are good. So we placed those in the middle. We will place our diamonds around the corner. We will place our Supremium Essence in those remaining slots. And here we go. There we are. We have our diamond seeds that we should be able to now plant on our Supremium farmland right there. Perfect. If I were to try to plant those, okay, I can, I can plant these on any farmland, but I think we want those on the Supremium farmland. And look at that, already they are sprouting and pretty soon, any moment now, we should see hopefully a little diamond. Whoa, how about that? We might have to use this as decoration around our world as well. I kind of like the look of that. Let's harvest that and we get diamond essence. Okay, so we do not get a diamond, we get diamond essence. Let me go ahead and harvest all of this real quick and we got some more diamond seeds. Fantastic, let's get those planted. And this is growing really fast. What else did we get? We got fertilized essence. Okay, this was a good decision actually. I think we are gonna get a lot of great byproducts from this. To make diamonds themselves, I think, is it going to be nine diamond essence? Yes. And then that is a different mod, that's Silent Gear. So nine diamond essence. Is there anything else up here that is mystical agriculture? Nothing else up here. So it's just going to be the nine diamond essence and that will get us a diamond. So there we go. That is how we do that. Let's see what else we can make with Diamond Essence. It looks like only a Heart of the Sea and Diamonds. That's about all they're good for. The Diamond Seeds. Well, we can actually process our extra seeds into Diamond Essence by making a seed reprocessor. That looks a little complex. We are going to take care of that another time. But I'm excited that we finally have diamonds growing out of the ground and of course we are going to have to make our first diamond that we grew ourselves we will get a couple more of these seeds planted right there and here we go with our nine diamond essence let's turn that into our very first diamond we don't get an advancement for it surprisingly but this diamond has been grown out of the ground. That is pretty cool. Let's see what else we can make with some of these seeds. Actually, iron is something that I really think it would be helpful for us to have. So I'm just going to continue to harvest with our watering can. But now that I'm kind of understanding this a little bit better, Basically, we want this plot of farmland to be as upgraded as possible, and then we can just come plant whatever seeds we need at the time that we need those resources and be able to really profit from it. But for now, this Inferium Essence is going to be the biggest thing that we need. I have finally figured out what is causing our magnet effect. It is our sword right there, Magnetic 3. If we hold that, it brings items towards us. I've been trying to figure out what was causing that for a while now, so I'm finally glad to have an answer for that. So let's go ahead and make some iron seeds now because we will really benefit from that. And that is a tier three seed, so the tertium essence. We'll get our iron placed down here and our essence as well. And that should fire up. There we go, and we can go get this planted on our farmland. And that will be very beneficial for us. Let's take a look at how these iron plants look. I wonder if they'll be similar to the diamond plants, just 
look more like iron. A little more white in them, silver. No, they look a little bit different, which I actually appreciate them for doing that. Of course, it's similar to our Inferium, but I like that it's a little bit different than everything else. Watch this. Boom. There we go. Very satisfying harvesting all of that at once, but we are definitely flying through the durability of our scythe. So I'm going to need to make another one of those here pretty soon. But I think that is where we are going to end the episode. Between now and next time, I will spend a lot of time right here getting this farm as upgraded as we can possibly make it. In the meantime, in the meantime, that is where we are going to end the episode for today. I really hope you enjoyed it. Next episode, we will be in our house working on the interior. Of course, I've shown this previously, but we have plenty of furniture mods and things like that that we will be able to decorate our house with. Mind the rain as we end this episode for today. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it and make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on daily content as soon as I publish it. Check the description for some more important information, links, how to contact me, all of that good stuff. And with all of that being said, comment, like, subscribe, remember to stay optimistic, and I will see all of you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Bye.